guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with more Minecraft. Today we're going to be covering the new biomes of 13W36A. Uh, we're going to be covering the main biomes. Now, every single biome was basically tweaked, added something, new features into it, maybe just a new flower, uh, tall grass, something like that, or a new block, but uh, just about everything got tweaked for biome things. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cover the main features of that now. First biome we're going to be looking at today is the Clay Canyon or the Mesa. Uh, basically, this biome is glitched right now, but this is supposed to be the hardened clay canyons with the different multiple different colors of hardened clay. Uh, there's supposed to be dead shrubs. Uh, here is an example of what would look like on top of the biome. And uh, you see we have like a custom color of grass as well as, I'm pretty sure this is the dirt that will not allow, because um, there's two different types of dirt now by the way. Some dirt will allow grass, some will not. And so maybe that is, maybe that isn't, that's a hard decision to see. Uh, this right here is probably going to be the best example of that right there. So this is the top of the Mesa biome. Um, unfortunately, this is very glitched out. I'm even on the newer snapshot. It may be fixed in the future, but it is hard to tell at this point. Alright guys, next up is the Redwood Forest. This is basically a mega taiga biome. It contains 2x2 two by two, two by two spruce trees. They are very, very tall. Uh, it also comes with a new block. It is called the Podzel. It is basically a variant of grass, and it it's okay looking. It kind of looks like poop to me a little bit. <laughs> it also has these pods of mossy cobblestone as well as tall grass. So you're going to find some new things in this biome. Um, be careful. You never know what you might find. So <laughs> let's go ahead and move on. Alright guys, so this is not loading. No, this is a cliff biome. It's not exactly vertical, but it is very tall, above the clouds almost. And there are different variants of this biome, as you can see. One has trees. This one down here is growing spruce trees. Uh, you're going to find different, different variants of this uh, almost completely all the way through. So, um, technically these are two different biomes. We should actually be able to see this. This is Extreme Hills Plus because of the trees. Now, if we go over this way, it should actually change... Uh, maybe not, maybe I was wrong, but maybe it's just because there's no trees spawning over here, but, um, the cliff biome is actually very similar to this in looks. Like I said, very, very tall, very, very steep. Next up is the Savannah biome. Looks like, um, the extra biomes XL Savannah biome to like a T pretty much. It, it it's pretty cool. Um... As far as the main features go, it's got jungle wood with um, some nice variants of leaves. All the same leaves, basically. Just colored to match the biome. The trees are modeled to look like, um, I'm going to say, Asaya trees. I can't pronounce that word very well. Um, but these would, these are the trees that actually spawn in savannas. <laughs> um, these generate plateaus as well, as you can see here is one over here. And basically this is just kind of like a natural steep hill. Um, it, I mean, it really doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, it really kind of looks like a mountain. But it, it does have uh, some difference to it, so it, it does help out a little bit. Next up is the Roofed Forest Biome. This has spruce wood in a 2x2 two two pattern, and they make very thick trees. It's a very thick biome in general. You're going to find uh, different colors of grass and leaves, um, and that it's basically just shaded. Um, you're also going to find wild mushrooms through this biome as well. Uh, if you're walking through here, you're gonna have a bad time. That, <laughs> this is pretty much it. I mean, it, it's thick. It's made to to be a hard biome to walk through. Uh, and as you can see, look at this. It it's it's really just you know, I'm camping out here and then I'll leave in the morning type of thing. <laughs> All right, guys. So I know a lot of you love birch wood, and the next biome is a birch forest. Uh, it is pure birch trees uh, and just a normal 
sort of forest biome, but instead of having oak, uh, you're just going to get all birch trees. Right, guys, so this is probably one of my favorite new biomes because I love bees. And this kind of reminds me of when I play FTB and I have all the bees going and all the flowers generating. This is a flower forest and it's got multiple new flowers in it. Uh, you can look in creative inventory or you can pick block. And uh, pick block is when you middle click with your ball, your roller ball. It'll tell you what the item is and it'll put it into your inventory. So you want to find uh, oak and spruce here, but your main thing is you're going to find wild grass, uh, all sorts of new flowers and things like that, rose bushes, and uh, you're going to have a good time here. All right, guys. So the last biome that we're going to be covering in this video is the, I'm going to, I'm going to have a hard time with this. This is a tongue twister. It is... Ice plain spike biome. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but uh, or plain was it? Is it, just, is it just calling it ice spikes plains or ice plains? Ice plain spikes. Uh, very interesting name. This comes with a new block. This is packed ice, and I love the way this looks. I love this biome. It's a very cool biome. Um, it's going to be, sometimes you're going to get crazy hills, sometimes it'll be more flat, as you can see right in this area. Uh, that's really going to be it. It's going to be have, um, full snow blocks, as you can see by this right here, with snow covering. It's also going to have dirt with snow blocks, so, um... Traveling through this might be pretty difficult. All right, just a quick uh, mention. Melons actually generate in jungles now. And so for the last thing that we're going to look at, there is a new level type called Amplified. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new world. We're going to go to World Options, and we're going to go to Amplified. Amplified is very CPU heavy because it makes uh, extreme sort of generated power like very very extreme biomes so and i'm looking at this and i i did it in survival like an idiot <laughs> let's make a new one really quickly guys uh creative amplified go okay but yeah these are very uh intensive on the world um and as you can see i'm already lagging but the world is generating so we're just going to let this generate for a second. And as you can see, just as it's generating, it's going to have all these new features in it. It's going to have all the new flowers and all the new biomes, but it's going to be crazy. I have a very good computer and it's lagging my computer. So maybe with some uh, tweakage, we would be able to play this. But this is uh, fairly crazy, I have to say. And I love it. I love every part of this. I don't know what it is. I've always wanted to play something like this, and I just think this is the coolest thing ever. With all the cliffs and all the mountains and everything like that. So this is going to cover all of the new biomes and the world types in 1.7. Now, it was kind of a brief overview. If you want to, you can check out the Minecraft Wiki. I'll link that and Mojang's website just to kind of give you guys brief overviews on both of these. And you can get better details on that. Uh, tomorrow, I have another video on 1.7 covering some more of the new features. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating below as always. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Ijevin. Peace out. Three, two, one. Next up is the Sorry, looks like uh